This is Cedro Toro, founder of KPI Fire, and today we are going to have a battle. Now, Lean is a methodology that is used by companies all over the world, and it comes from Japan. Six Sigma is also used everywhere, and it comes from the United States. So which one is better, and which one should you use in your company? Today, we're going to find out. In Lean, it's all about eliminating waste. Now, if you see my other videos, you know there's a lot more to it than that, but let's just pretend that's it. And in Six Sigma, we're all about eliminating variation or sources of variation. Now, the reality is, is variation in the lean world is actually one of the wastes we're trying to eliminate. So it doesn't matter if you're doing lean or Six Sigma. If you're doing lean, you have to eliminate waste. So the winner of round one is lean. In round two, lean uses plan, do, check, and act to solve problems. It's a four-step approach. In Six Sigma, we use define, measure, analyze, improve, and control, which is a five-step approach. Now, if you try to explain the plan phase to people, there's a lot to it. They have to define the problem. They have to measure the process. They have to analyze and get to root cause. And that all has to happen inside the plan phase. And then you have to do the improvements, check them, and then implement them if they work which is all really confusing, but if you just make the improvements and then go into the control phase, people tend to understand that. So when it comes to understanding a simple process to solving a problem, Six Sigma has the upper hand. So in this case, Lean loses and Six Sigma wins. Okay, so round one was a clear point for Lean. Round two was a clear point for Six Sigma. We're tied. Who's going to win? It's time for round three. In Lean, we use Kaizen events to do rapid improvements to fix problems and make the process better. You get everyone together and you solve something really fast. You just try it, you see if it works. If it works, great. If not, you try something else. It's awesome. In Six Sigma, we do projects with stage gate reviews. So we're trying to solve big problems. We get a team and stakeholders together. And after every step of the process, we have to hold a formal review where after the define phase, we have a stage gate review. After the measure phase, another stage gate review. And honestly, that just slows everything down. You're not iterating, you're not learning. And the whole idea behind problem solving is to learn. Even if you fail, just like Thomas Edison said, I learned how to not make a light bulb. And finally, he succeeded. So when it comes to getting things done quickly and actually learning, Lean is the clear winner. A Kaizen event is much more effective than doing a slow, long, cumbersome project with multiple approvers that takes a lot of time. So, two points for Lean, one point for Six Sigma. The clear winner is Lean. Now I can see all of the hate mail coming my way and all of your posts and you're frantically typing. It's okay, because the reality is you shouldn't be doing Lean and you shouldn't be doing Six Sigma. You should have a way of managing your company where everyone is involved in continuously improving and continuously learning all the time. And it shouldn't be Lean or the Toyota way, and it shouldn't be the Six Sigma way. It should be your way. Whatever works for you and your company so that you're constantly solving problems and getting real results that you can see, that's the best system of all. So when you do that, it doesn't matter if it's Lean or Six Sigma tools, Lean or Six Sigma philosophy. If you're using both on the right occasion for the right problem, the real person who wins is you and your business. This is Cedro Toro with KPI Fire, and that's the Lean versus Six Sigma battle.